This is one of the worst way to die. But the big question is, how does an adult die in a swimming pool and stay submerged under the water for three hours without someone coming to check or rescue her? The death of this young Kenyan woman in a swimming pool in Canada is making headlines and is getting a lot of people talking. Her name is Helen Wendy and according to what is being said, she works in Canada as a registered nurse and somewhere around the 18th of August, she had gone to take a swim after returning from a shift at her hospital where she works. And she was basically filming herself live on her Facebook as she was swimming. She had her phone on record and she was even communicating with her viewers live, telling them she had had a long day, that she just came to chill. And even after adjusting her camera a few times, after she came, she came out of the water to adjust her camera a, a few times, then she went back to continue swimming. And somewhere in the swimming and in the live recording, they saw her struggling in the water. She was struggling to come out of the water. She was struggling to find her foot. And that was how her viewers watched her die by drowning for hours on the water and eventually she stopped struggling and it was even said the phone recorded for three more hours after she had stopped struggling in the water three more hours before some people came to check if someone was in the pool and that was when they discovered that she had drowned three hours ago my thing is what swimming pool is this that there was no other person there to check on her for three good hours three good hours although it's being said the swimming pool she took was a private one but at the same time i didn't know other people in the property is this a secret swimming pool that somebody would not be watching or observant or around the swimming pool for three good hours it's quite a very sad incident for the young lady helen it's just something that I don't think anyone can comprehend it's it's a nightmare for those people who are even uh, afraid of water or afraid of swimming this was something that i don't even know how else it could have gone because i feel like i would not want to swim in a pool where there is no one else there no matter how good a swimmer i was helen's death was something that should never have happened it's even more horrific for those uh viewers or our friends who had to watch her facebook live as she drowns without being able to help i'm sure a lot of them must have been in kenya watching her having a good time that turned into a tragedy and after her death made headlines a lot of people have been speculating that she predicted it that she saw it coming that she you know made of a whatsapp post some days back suggesting that she was going to die but i don't know how true that claim is her father has come out to debunk the rumor saying that her daughter did not predict her death and that is not true but a lot of people a lot of her friends a lot of people who know her are saying that she predicted her own death but not much is said or known as to how she may have predicted it it's just a really sad tragedy like it's just too tragic i wonder what could have gone wrong with her swimming maybe she may have gone to the deep end of the pool and that can be a very tricky place to be especially if you are not a, a very good swimmer so it's just horrible and i don't even know why she went to a private pool oh man i wish there was something that could have been done to prevent this because it seems like something that could have been prevented anyway um helen's body has been brought back to kenya for burial and i guess she has been laid to rest as at the time of making this video i'm not particularly sure but it's being said that she would be buried around you know before the end of the month it's quite a tragic story it's really sad i have also had a horrible experience in a swimming pool that and I think the thing with the drowning is actually the fear because when you miss a step, I think that usually happens when you go to the deep end, when you miss a step, you just panic. And to panic under the water, you can't even think that you can just calm down and swim. I mean, it's easier said than done. This is a horrible tragedy. I really hope her family are able to bear the loss. It's really painful. She was so young, so pretty. She had uh, the rest of her life ahead of her and it's just really painful. Whew. So that's it guys. Let me know what you think about the story. Don't forget to like, share and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching.